Brittany Griner is back safe on U.S. soil tonight after a prisoner swap with Russia in exchange for the convicted arms dealer, Victor Boot, who's been in federal prison for 15 years and wasn't scheduled for release until 2029. There to greet the convicted Russian arms dealer upon his arrival back in Russia, believe it or not, was this woman. Look at her closely. The woman with the long hair. Maria Butina. Butina, some people call her. Perhaps these photos jog your memory. Maybe this one alongside Donald Trump Jr. This woman was the Russian operative who spent 18 months in a federal prison after infiltrating Republican power circles, including the NRA, the National Rifle Association, to push Vladimir Putin's agenda for crimes related to the 2016 election. Maria Butina is now a member of the Russian parliament and a commentator on Russian television. Here's what she had to say about the prisoner exchange that brought Brittany Griner home. Совершенно очевидно, что у нас есть аргумент с позиции силы, когда мы выдвинули свои условия. Кстати, американцы с этим соглашаются. Они говорят, что в случае обмена мы предпочли того или другого, и у нас был выбор. Это значит, у нас Нет, есть беспрекрышный вот аргумент. Now, if you've been paying attention to the Republican reaction to the deal that was made to secure the release of Brittany Griner from Russia, you may have noticed a theme disingenuous performative outrage. Outrage that Brittany Griner was freed, but the former Marine, Paul Whelan, who has been in prison in Russia since 2018, was not. Even though the Biden administration says Whelan wasn't an option. Even though you just heard Republican, uh, Russian Republican infiltrator, infiltrator Maria Butina confirm, quote, it was our choice to exchange Griner, not Whelan. Even though the Whelan family says it's absolutely good that Brittany Griner has been freed. In his fake outrage, the former president, Donald Trump, went so far as to say that Whelan, quote, would have been let out for the asking, end quote. Now, if that were true, if you could just ask to get Paul Whelan out, why didn't Donald Trump do that in 2018 or in 2019 or in 2020 while he was actually still the president of the United States? Are there any Republicans who are so ostensibly angry that Putin seems to have got one over on America sorry that they put their arms around one of Putin's operatives? Joining us now, Michael McFall, who served as the United States ambassador to Russia from 2012 to 2014. He's an MSNBC international affairs analyst. Ambassador, it's good to see you again. I think we can hold two thoughts in our mind tonight. One is we are so grateful and happy that Brittany Griner uh, is back because that was a nonsensical set of charges that were laid against her, then pursued. And this happens a lot now. This is what happens. People get, get, get caught up on trumped up charges and get sent to jail and traded for somebody. On the other hand, we can be really unhappy that Paul Whelan is still in there and, and not out. But this weird outrage and this outrage cycle that's moving around Republican circles seems to have missed the fact that we actually got Brittany Griner out. Uh, and even Paul Whelan's family is sort of saying, this is misplaced outrage. I agree. And I think it's pretty scary, to be honest, uh, because if we do not have consensus on basic fundamental national security interests and issues uh, in the United States of America, we are going to be in trouble in this era of great po uh, power competition with China and Russia. And this need not be a political issue. And you're exactly right. That's exactly the way to frame it. We can hold two thoughts in our mind at the same time. Celebrate the fact that we have an American back on American soil uh, and lament the fact that we didn't get Paul Whelan or Mark Fogel, another person unjustly detained in Russia, and we should try to get them out. But I have negotiated with the Russians. I know what it's like. They're tough negotiators, and you get to the end on some issue, and then you have to decide, am I going to take the deal that is being offered, or am I going to walk away? And sometimes you need to walk away, by the way, and sometimes we have as a government, uh, Democrats and Republicans. This time they chose to take the deal. I think it was the right decision, and all Americans should celebrate that American today is free. Paul Whelan's own brother, David, uh, responded to Donald Trump's post in which uh, uh, he, Paul says, former President Trump appears to have mentioned my brother Paul Whelan's wrongful detention more in the last 24 hours than he did in the two years of his presidency in which Paul was held hostage by Russia. Uh, and in parens, he says zero. I don't suggest he cares now any more than he did then, also in parens, zero. So the Whelan family isn't uh, even into this. But what the president is saying, what, what the former president is saying, Donald Trump, is just not helpful in this process because one of the things that people have to remember these days is that most people we think of as hostages 
are actually detainees, like Fogel, like Whalen, like Brittany Griner. They're people who are held, charged, they go through some sort of criminal justice process that is a bit of a sham, and then they're, they're used as a political pawn. That's right, and that's why we should be united in trying to get them out. And I do think, just like you said, uh, Paul uh, Whelan was arrested in 2018. He wasn't arrested at the beginning of the Biden administration. And Ali, this is a little bit personal for me because you may forget, but in 2018, uh, we indicted a group of Russian intelligence officers. And in a meeting with President Putin in Helsinki in 2018, Putin said, well, we would like to interrogate some Americans. Uh, and I was on that list. Yep, you and were, President Bill Browder was. Uh, and, and, and the president of the United States stood there on the podium next to him and did not say, you can't have Michael McCall, you can't have Bill Browder. He didn't say this is an entirely unreasonable thing on the international stage in front of a, a, a group of reporters to even suggest. Exactly. He said it was a great idea. And in fact, uh, it took a Senate resolution, 98 to 0, that doesn't happen very often in the U.S. Senate, uh, to say that we should not hand over innocent Americans. So I, I do, I do, you know, I share the sentiments. We all should be, this should not be yep. a politicized issue. This should be an issue that all Americans should get behind. We want to get all Americans out of the jails in which they are wrongly detained around the world.